Hey there, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. All right, someone wrote in this question and it's on a topic that comes up all the time. And I address it a lot in our courses, uh, but I thought it would be nice to address it in a vlog. He or she wrote in, I am still struggling with feeling like all the meal planning and time and thinking about this meal and that meal is making me less obsessed with food and I still struggle to add all this into an already really busy work week. Does it get better? I keep hearing the word freedom, but it feels like all this planning makes me have to think about food even more, not less. What am I missing? Do these feelings go away? <laughs> oh my goodness, do I relate. Yeah, shopping, chopping and chewing and planning and <sighs> it is a lot at first. And I could sort of summarize what you just said uh, of like happy, thin and free, but wait, I so don't feel free. I do not feel free. What if you don't feel free? Will you ever feel free? Yeah. So the good news first, yes, you will feel free. And even better news, I can explain why you don't feel free now. So what happens in the brain when you start Bright Line Eating is you take an entire lifetime of doing your food that has become very automatic and you take it out of the basal ganglia, out of the part of the brain that just executes automatic behavior sequences like brushing your teeth. All the ways that you used to eat, and I don't care whether it was like pulling through drive throughs or grabbing food out of vending machines or, you know, taking a toaster thingy out of a box and putting it in the toaster and bringing it with you on the way to work or whatever it was, however you used to eat, ordering a pizza on a Friday night or, you know, calling in Chinese takeout or, you know, all the ways that you used to eat, they were automatic and they required zero cognitive resources. Those decisions weren't really decisions anymore. They were just rolling out just the way you get dressed in the morning or brush your teeth or whatever. And you're now taking that entire litany of behaviors and cues that lead to those behaviors, you're pulling them out of the automatic unconscious mind, the basal ganglia, where things just get done without thinking about it. And you're bringing it up to the conscious mind, up to the prefrontal cortex for reworking, for decision making. Now, in the future, it's not going to be decision making, but for now it is. You have to be like, wait, how many ounces of what do I get at breakfast again? And how many servings of fruit do I have to buy at the grocery store to get me through my next grocery shopping? And wait, what's the breakfast? I mean, it's so much planning and decision making at first. And it's exhausting. And it requires focus. Focus that you didn't used to have to spend because you had built up habits around your old way of eating. And now you have to pay attention. And this is why in the book and in the boot camp, I say, if you can <laughs> cancel projects at work, don't add anything new to your plate, carve out a chunk of time to really allow yourself to focus on this because it's a lot. That's what I mean. It's a lot. It's a lot of planning. It's a lot of decisions. And if you really follow through by following the plan, this new plan will become the new automatic. And that's when you start to get free. How long does that take? It's kind of like asking how long does it take for a bunch of water flowing over dry, dusty land to form a riverbed? Well, the longer you do it, the deeper the groove of the riverbed. You know, that's like fiber tracks being wired in the brain. One research study showed that it takes an average of 66 days for one new daily action to feel automatic. But we're talking about a lot of new daily and weekly actions and probably breaking an addiction too. And, you know, undoing old patterns as well. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, first of all, be patient with yourself. 
Second of all, trust. It does get easier. Third of all, the biggest X factor in this, I believe, is the extent to which your inner rebel part is bucking doing it at all. The stronger your inner rebel part that says, this is extreme, this is controlling, I shouldn't be doing this, this is a bunch of, you know, why am I doing this? People who um, have that part really active um, take longer. The other X factor is, are you really doing it as outlined without cutting corners? Because when you do it the same way every day and do your food prep, start to develop a routine with your food prep where you do the food prep the same day, the same way every week. Food prep is usually more on a weekly scale than daily, depends on the person. When you do it the same way, it becomes automatic a lot sooner. And the more surrendered you are, the quieter that inner rebel is, the more you realize deep down that you've made a choice to do this, that there's no gun to your head, that Susan Pierce Thompson is not, you know, in your kitchen going, you know, like, I mean, honestly, on some level, I don't care whether you do this or not. Like, I mean, I, I want lots of people to do it, but only the people who want to do it, right? I don't want a single person here doing this who doesn't want to do it. By all means, I, I was just getting blood drawn this morning and the guy was like, I just had my fourth heart attack. And I'm like, dude, that's intense. I'm like, you thinking about changing your lifestyle? He's like, not really. I hate eating vegetables. And I was like, fair enough, man. Like, I think that's a legit choice. I, I bet there are a lot of people who judge you for that, huh? And he's like, yep. And I'm like, I don't judge you at all. Like, I think it's a legit choice. How do I want to spend my time on earth? Like, you're just saying I'd rather eat that stuff now and die, you know, however, however many years sooner. But, you know, would he be better off forcing down those vegetables and living longer? I don't know. That's his call to make, right? Like, so I think the inner rebel often feels like there's some pressure to do this. And um, with some parts work, we do this in Brightline Freedom, you can sort of um, help the inner landscape to understand, no, actually, we're choosing this. This isn't some sort of controlling parent that's telling us to do this. This is actually what we want to do. You know, so there are reasons why it feels like so much time and focus is going into this. It's a big deal to take something that was previously automatic and bring it back into the realm of focus. Um, you'll experience this if you travel to a country where they drive on the other side of the road and experience driving for a little while. Start to do everything with your non-dominant hand for a day or two. That's the kind of thing we're talking about, taking actions that are extremely automatic and doing them in a way that is suddenly, you gotta think about it. It's exhausting and it gets better. When bright line eating becomes the new normal, then you feel the freedom. I promise. And that's the weekly vlog. I'll see you next week.